Manscaped is here to up your body grooming game. Manscaped has the revolutionary electric trimmer, the Lawnmower 3.0. It's cordless, it's waterproof, and it's guaranteed not to nick or snag your nuts or your chest because you can use it upstairs and downstairs. So go to manscaped.com, use code HRU for 20% off plus free shipping. What did you think when you found out about Tracy Lords being underage? That whole scandal, because that was a big thing. And for those of you who don't know, Tracy Lords was a very popular porn star, as we were saying earlier. And then it was discovered that she was underage. And my parents almost went to jail for that. And I remember that as a kid. I have my own story with that. So how, what was your reaction? I had already quit. I got in in 1984 and then quit in 85. Mm-hmm. I was in it for like eight months and I was burned out. I mean, we were fucking every day, us girls. Mm. You couldn't get enough girls to fuck on the videos, you know, because it was this new age. Mm. And I remember like I'd shoot at eight in the morning and then Hal Friedman would be like, okay, can you be on my set at seven o'clock tonight? And I'd be like, okay. I mean, I was literally getting fucked two times a day for like 28 straight days, wow. you know? which was fun though. I mean, but you know, after eight months, I was like exhausted. I just yeah. needed to ugh, kind of zone out. Yeah. So I took a break in 80, April of 85 and I always knew I'd probably come back. I didn't realize four years would go by, but I was like... I love that business. I just literally burned out. It's I mean, a lot of like physical exertion. I know, it's so physical. And I worked for my dad and this and that. So I, it was like 1986 or was it 85 when it came out? It may have been late 85. I had already quit though. That sounds about right because I was about seven years old at the time. <laughs> so <laughs> it's 18. <laughs> I'll be your MILF. And um, I was watching TV in my apartment. And, like, the news came on, and it was, like, breaking news, you know, next coming up on the – why was I fucking watching the news? I have no – maybe I was watching TV, and, like, they were tagging something for the news mm-hmm. later, and it was, like, that's, when, you know, in the 80s when you still had, like, six channels, and, yeah. you know, I couldn't stop it on TV. I'm like, what? Yeah, exactly. And, like, whatever I was doing, and the news break was coming up, and I was, like, you know, underage porn star, Tracy Lords, And whatever I was doing, I remember, like, almost – I almost got dizzy, like, what? You know, and I had to wait for two minutes. And I remember whatever I was doing, I stopped and I sat there. I was like, no, like it kind of gives me chills now. No one knew. Yeah. I mean, and I just, and then it was like, you know, it was going to be on like uh, whatever inside edition. And I remember I all night I kept watching everything. I, I was in shock. Mm-hmm. And I remember calling the makeup artist, Lexi, that we were talking about mm-hmm. going, Tracy Lords was underage. And I think I went to her place. She lived next to me and we were like, no way. You know, like it was a huge deal. Yeah. I mean, I didn't get affected. They right. pulled my scenes with her, which was probably about a quarter of my work. Wow. It's only made me more popular when I came back four years later. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> it, if anything, it helped me. But I just remember being completely shocked because that girl – was anything but acting 16 or whatever age she was. Mm. She was so in control and so sure of herself. Yeah, that's what everybody wow. said, and my parents especially. I remember my dad told me that he – because, you know, it's funny. These days you would hear about that right away, but back then, you know, there's no social media. News traveled slow. My dad said that he was just sitting there in the morning, just drinking his coffee, reading the LA Times, saw the article, and just spoke bit his coffee out everywhere. My parents flipped out because my mom shot Tracy Lords more than anybody. Gosh, I know. Like more than anyone. And they went and they collected, they pulled all the slides, everything. And they said they drove around LA and found different dumpsters behind supermarkets and just threw the fucking chromes oh in the dumpster, like burying it under all this trash, drive to the next grocery store, just like scatter, just complete panic. Yeah. It was a panic that rocked the industry. And there were a few others. Ollie Moore, if you remember that name. Mm -mm. Little blonde from the same era. I was in W Pink with her. But Tracy is the one that stood out. She was the one. I mean, no one knew. No one would have shot her. She had fake ID. And that's what saved everybody was the government gave her fake ID. Yeah, exactly. I heard she took – she stole like her family member, maybe cousin or something's birth certificate and got an actual – Real legitimate driver's right. license, I believe, right? Yeah. Right. And, and there were a few people that went to j- not court, not jail, 
uh, unless they were still selling it after, like I know somebody and I don't want to say his name. Yeah. Um, but he just was an idiot and a greedy and, you know, they busted yeah. him a year later still selling it. Like that's just, okay, you're dumb. But no one that honestly didn't know never, I don't believe ever went to jail for it. Yeah. I think uh, my mom, because my mom took her back to London to go um, meet with her modeling agency because my mom thought that she should try out mainstream modeling. And I believe that Tracy had to get a passport for that. So I think that that was also another like piece of the pie. She went out and got like an actual government right. issued passport with again this fake birth certificate and stuff. And so that was crazy, though. It was yeah. crazy, but it, you know what? Like everything had died out eventually. Mm-hmm. And I never see her. Oh my god, I haven't seen her since probably the late eighties. Yeah, I saw her at the Beverly Center. I was like, Nora. Tracy, <laughs> who are you? And and we talked and it was fun and yeah. never see her anymore. You know, it's interesting. My dad has this theary because, you know, she was she was a bright woman and like you said, very much in control yeah. and very, you know, like uh, – Conniving. Conniving. I say scheming. And yes. he has this theory that she planned this all along because once she turned 18 and she stopped right. making movies – and she leaked the information so that all of her porn would be pulled. So she could basically like erase her past and start all over again. There was one legit one though. Yeah. Tracy, I love you. Mm. Not that I'm stalking her or anything. I just <laughs> happened to know that. Yeah, I think I remember that. I mean, it's kind of a stretch, but it's an interesting theory. You know, I mean, that would make her one hell of a, you genius. know. Genius. Yeah. Like a psychotic, but genius. Yeah. And then Ginger's got a different theory that she was working with the feds to take down the porn business. You know what? No one will ever really know the truth. Well, Ginger had a very bad experience with the government. <laughs> really bad. So I believe my mom, because they tried to get her for tax evasion, and I know that my mom went and testified they on her did behalf. Her. She, Ginger was in prison for a little while. That's crazy. And she's open about it. It's not yeah, like yeah. it was, you know, I think she was on Inside Edition or something about it from prison. It was just a crazy, crazy time. Yeah. It was nuts. Yeah. But I love Tracy. I mean, I have nothing personally against her. Right. Like, I loved working with her. Right, right. She was sexy. I mean, I feel horrible saying this about a 60, you know, but I didn't know. Yeah. But she was amazing. Or we'd be on set and, you know, Roy Karch would be like, okay, we're going to get Thai food for lunch, everyone. She'd be like, I don't want Thai food. I'll walk before I eat Thai food. Okay, Tracy, what do you want? Like, she owned that set. Yeah. She was in control. And then she'd look at me and go, I don't mind Thai food. I just wanted to make him get something different. Like, she <laughs> was playing that. I'm like, fuck, I want to be like you. I'd be like, okay, I'll eat anything you guys get. You know, I was always a wimp. Manscaped is here to up your body grooming game. Their Lawnmower 3.0 is a revolutionary electric trimmer that will not only not nick or snag your nuts, but can also be used on your chest hair. If you get it in the perfect package 3.0, it will come with a bunch of liquid formulas to keep you feeling and smelling fresh all day. And for a limited time, you can also get a free travel bag and anti-chafing boxer briefs that come with it. So go to manscaped.com, use code HRU for 20% off plus free shipping. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode and go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.